Okay, we're gonna try some slip training today. Um, I know some of you might not have an assignment to do this on, but I, I'd still like you to try it. Um, just on a slab, um, because it's a cool technique and it's good to have lots of techniques in your pocket for future projects, even if it's not this one. Um, but it just takes a minute. So the first thing you want to do is, you know, check your slip. Like, look at the consistency of your slip. And you want it to be as, you don't want it to be really watery. Um, you want it to be as consistent as possible. But that's really kind of hard in, um, without a blender or a, a, a whipper upper, <laughs> a mixer. So what I'm going to do is just take a spoon or a tool, something you're going to have to clean anyway, um, and mix it up just the best I can to try to get it, you know, mostly consistent or not, not, you know, I mean, there's still going to be chunks in it. There's not, I'm not going to be able to get it perfectly blended by hand, but you don't want it to be super watery. You want it to be kind of like cream cheesy. So if you have water on the top, you can take, go outside and pour the water off the top before you start to mix, right? But you want it to be like that, okay? So then, um, if you have, I found, okay, so like I just did the sandwich baggie and it worked amazing. So I'm gonna just suggest that you do the set shit sandwich baggie um, rather than, you could do a cake tool or you could or the um, you know like somebody's uh, hair tool so what I did is I just put some in my sandwich bag I wrapped it up like this and then because I don't want it to get accidentally squished out I'm gonna just take the sandwich bag like this and just tie the end up like you would after picking up a dog turd. That's the closest thing I can think of. And now I'm going to just take it to the corner, like put it all the stuff in one corner. And I, I'm, I'm kind of squishing it up the most I can with my fingers just to like give it another blendy factor. You know, and just making sure there's no real chunks in it. If there are, I kind of squish them and mush them. Now I'm going to just kind of squeeze all this stuff down to one corner so it's all down on one side. And that point, I'm going to cut off that point. I'm, the trick is to cut off a very small amount. I mean, a teeny weeny little hole. You could try, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try, nah, I don't want to try I was gonna say, you can try to put like a pin or a needle tool in one side, but I'm gonna just cut it. I know, I'm gonna cut a very teeny bit off the end. Yep. Um, so this one, so then I just have my newsprint. I'm gonna just practice on this for a minute and make sure it comes out right. The trick of slip trailing is to squeeze and move at the same time. And like, dang. It works. So now you want to do that on your piece. And let's go back because I was doing a box, right? And here's my box. My box. And my box. You want the box to, to be leather hard, but you want it to be on the softer side. So you may, I never finished putting my lid. I mean, I didn't put this on. I did, however, refine this by just going on the I never touched this part but I did along here and just took off the crumbles just like that you know or I took um you know pointy or something and just cleaned up the inside but never this part that comes together right so it still fits I should should put my little nobbin on Nibby, 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 score. It's 
score. Look at this, slip. <laughs> that was too much. I got it too excited. I did too much. Oops. A little nodding. I don't know if I love that nodding, but it is what it is. Um, and now I am going to do some slip trailing work. And um, I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to do the bottom part. It's not a bad idea to draw in what you want to do first, like say with a pencil. Um, you know, give yourself a kind of sketch of a line of where you might want your design to be or how you want it to be. Some of you got better um, drawing skills or whatever, but slip trailing is hard because you have to squeeze and move in a consistent speed. So like nobody going to be perfect at that com oops, coming right out of the gate. So I would say best to um, pre-draw whatever it is that you want to um, do. I don't know like how I always lose my tools, but um, here's a pencil, so I'll start with the pencil. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do, oh my goodness, slid right off my chair. Okay, so I'm gonna do maybe a, I don't know, I'll do some, you might want to look at some slip trailing designs or back at the thing. Um, I'm going to do something like that. So, you don't want it on too thick. It will pop right off. And it's a good idea to do a little, um, now I'm scared to sit back down. I'm going to just wet my surface one more time, not to get it like, not to like, I don't want it to be soggy or not hold its shape, but I want there to be enough um, moisture on the surface so that it, um, it adheres, right? Because if this is really dry, it won't adhere. So I'm just going to just do that enough until the moisture on the surface just sucks in. It won't take but a minute. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna um, make sure there's not like residual water, but just that. Okay, here we go, hold my hand. That first one was crummy. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to scrape it off. Put it on the paper. Redo. Right? And then I might do some like mini dots. I don't know. If I don't like it, I'm going to scrape it off and try again. I'm not sure. Anyway, gotta keep trying. Maybe I'll do something funkier. Maybe on this side I'll... I, I, like, I like the little dots. 
like making a pattern with them. The little dots are better. Like, I like that much better than I like that. That looks bulky and kind of <clears throat> might be good to practice a little bit longer than I did. But I'm going to take that off. I don't like that. That was crap. Scrapey, scrapey. All right, well, you get it. Like, you can draw your design on, and, like, maybe I'm going to do another, like, half circle area over here and do little dots. I definitely like the little dots better, but, I mean, experiment. You do you. I'll do me. It slip all over me already in like 30 seconds. So, I mean, I, I'm just playing around having not been like I've slip trailed before, but it's not typically my go to decorative technique. So, I would need to practice more to get more gooder at it. But I like, I like that. Um, and then I can continue that line over here. Like if this goes like this, I can continue it over here and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to keep going. Um, but, um, hopefully you're experimenting and finding some fun with that. Um, if you don't have a box to do it on, do it on a slab. I, I still want to see what you've done with slip trailing. I mean, it, it's a good thing to have in your back pocket. So give it a whirl. Okay, okay. Have fun. And that should be the, I mean, besides attaching your handle on, but that should be the end of the box once you've decorated, right? And added your handle, which I didn't do, but. Doo -doo -doo. Okay.